Today I'm going to demo etching glass with hydrofluoric acid. First melt, let's melt some wax to coat our glass. Here it is, melted. Let's coat the glass. Here it is with both sides of it coated. Next step is to write some letters into the glass and see if we can etch it with hydrofluoric acid. This step can be difficult because the wax tends to crumble. Okay, now for our test run. This is concentrated sulfuric acid and I'm going to pour it into water. Never do it the other way around. Always the acid into the water and not the water into the acid. Otherwise the whole thing would explode in your face. There we go. We're going to add a small amount of sodium fluoride which will create hydrofluoric acid in this aqueous sulfuric acid solution. Be really careful with this and wear gloves. Use some nitrile gloves. These ones are the thickest ones uh, that you can get to protect your hands just in case you get some of the aqueous hydrofluoric acid that splashes. And wear a face shield. I've got some of the sodium fluoride in this cap. I'm going to pour it into the sulfuric acid. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, so the equilibrium is in favor of hydrofluoric acid. Now we're going to put our glass object to be etched in there. Okay, I've come back after a couple of days and I added some sodium hydroxide and sodium bicarbonate to completely neutralize any hydrofluoric and sulfuric acid that was present. So here goes, I'm going to scrape the wax off. Make sure to wear gloves because <clears throat> there may be some hydrofluoric acid or fluoride ions trapped beneath the wax which could get on your hands and would still be just as irritating and bad as hydrofluoric acid itself. So here comes all of the wax. So here's the etch after just washing off all the fluoride and bicarbonate. Natalie, right there, from the wax uh, covering and the little smiley face. Dry it off a little bit more here. So the uh, hydrofluoric acid worked pretty well for this etching. So all the letters came out. A L I E. The E, the wax started to break up a little bit. So, pretty good for um, a first try, I think. And if we can get better coverage of the glass with some kind of material, even a permanent marker pen, we may be able to do some pretty good uh, etching. Thanks for watching this uh, video, and uh, do appreciate you checking out.